Body image disorders are deeply rooted, and with the way we've been communicating this past year during the pandemic, they've become almost impossible to escape. Are you hypercritical of the way you look during a Zoom meeting? Is it even normal to watch yourself during the call? Our Sydney Stalwer sat with a counselor to get some answers. Here's this week's Mental Health Monday. It is very normal to watch yourself while you are speaking on a conference video call while you're on Zoom or Skype. So why do so many of us find ourselves doing it? We do kind of look at ourselves and be like, okay, you look all right. You're doing okay. Keep smiling. Don't look away. You know, we're constantly checking ourselves because that could be those anxious moments of wanting to ensure that we are still presenting ourselves the best way possible. So it's very common to to kind of look at yourself and, you know, check yourself out from time to time. Very common is right. High Five did a survey with Zogby Analytics. They found almost 60% of adults are more self-conscious on camera than in real life. And almost a third of people spend more than half the time on a conference call watching themselves. So this is basically a recipe for disaster if you have to work online during the pandemic and you have issues with the way you look. It's a difference between checking yourself out and being engulfed in it. Now, that's the catch when we start to talk about the issue with Zoom and body dysmorphia. I am forced to see myself now. Um, and then when we work with individuals that are suffering with body dysmorphia, one thing that we find is that they do not like to view themselves via mirror or even just being able to see their reflection a lot of times. This has been one of those situations where they're forced to do that. And I know a lot of people may say, oh, well, you can turn your camera off, but not in all situations. We all have things we're insecure about. The High Five survey says people hated things about their hair, their teeth, even the bags under their eyes. But when does it go from common insecurities to needing to seek help? When we start to almost get disgusted with our image and we feel horrible about ourselves, I would definitely encourage you to speak with someone that can help you process out these feelings and emotions. With your Mental Health Monday, I'm Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News.